having come from Catholicism. You know, this plays into my beliefs about feminism as a religion, and especially in the kind of like old school, you know, missionary uh, sense where you have heathens, savages, those are the people that don't know about feminism. You know, if they just knew about feminism, then they would be feminists. So we just have to spread the good word about feminism and then convert them. So those people are fine. The feminists will convert them and then they'll be feminists. Now, if you are told the good word of feminism and you reject it, then you're a heretic. And feminists are pretty generous where even if you don't want to say you're a feminist, they'll be like, oh, but you believe in equality, right? Okay, so you're still a feminist. You're just uncomfortable with the label. We'll still try to convert you, but like you're okay. Then you have two types of heretics. So the first kind is the ones who hear the word of feminism and they reject it. You know, those are the people who were never feminists. They hear about feminism and they're just like, nah. And then there is the most reviled, the former feminist turned anti-feminist. Me! This is the worst thing that you can possibly be because it means that you once were a true believer. You had heard the word of feminism, you had entered the feminist church, you were a true believer, and then you turned your back on the religion. You turned your back on the church, and now you actively preach against the church. And that, my friends, is the worst thing you can possibly be.